everybody and welcome back to the crafters compass channel today we are going to put together a um, beaded pacifier holder for a baby a um, couple things on this uh, before we even get started um, we're gonna be using silicone beads these are soft because as you probably know babies are going to put everything in their mouth so the silicone beads work great these are a 15 uh, millimeter size that I ordered. Um, I'll have a link for those below so you know what I got. I just do a variety pack um, for lots of color options. But um, these work great. The size is fantastic, but they're nice and soft. Um, the other thing, we will be putting this on this nylon string. Um, and you'll see how we start putting it together. But one thing I would caution you to do, whether this is for yourself or you give it to somebody, you can tell them. Um, before they give it to the baby, only you let, only have the baby use this um, when they're supervised. But also before you um, give it to a baby, tug on it. Tell them to, because it's going to be fastened together. You'll see to, in a moment when we put this together. But tell them to tug on it. Um, to make sure it's still secure and there's nothing loose and none of the beads are going to come loose. It's just an extra precaution. Um, I These hold up so well, but you don't want a little one to end up choking on anything. So as an extra precaution, tug on it, but also don't leave them unattended with it. But these things are phenomenal when you have them in a car seat and that way it doesn't end up in the floor or when you're cruising in the stroller somewhere that they're not chunking it out the stroller and it's getting all nasty. The pacifier didn't end up all nasty on the floor. So anyways, with that said, let's get started. Um, we'll have a bit of supplies that we need um, that I'll go over with you here. <clears throat> First thing you need are the clips. This is what it'll be attached to. Uh, these are real nice. They're plastic, uh, nice and durable folds down easy and then opens up and this is how it clamps going to clamp to the baby's clothing um, to get that done so that's handy dandy and um, so you'll need one of these you're going to need some nylon string i order a whole roll of this still off of amazon it's fantastic i will have links for all of this by the way down below um, just so you, if you want specifically what i'm using um, you will be cutting this down we'll go over that in a moment um, like i mentioned before silicone beads. Um, I do the bigger, I, like I said, I do the 15 millimeter, um, just holds up well, does great. Uh, you will want a lighter. This will be used on the string to keep it from fraying or getting worse. Uh, scissors to cut your string. And this is a bead. It's probably very difficult to see, um, but this is a bead um, needle, basically. Um, it does have a little loop down there, but we aren't using that uh, because ours is going to be closed off. So I end up folding one end, but I'll show you that in a moment. And you can have a ruler. If you want to be real precise about the size of your finished product, you can use a ruler to cut all of your string. Um, I do approximate, to be real honest with you. I'm not that precise on it, um, but I'm most of the time making these for grand new grandbabies. So... Um, Anyway, with that said, we will get started. Uh, but again, this is all of the um, supplies that you'll need to do this project. It is a simple project. Y'all, these go together so easy. If you just want to sit and do something quiet, um, <clears throat> sit in front of the TV with a tray, you know, however you want to do it. I am working on a mat today on my table just because I don't want my beads rolling all over. But um sit at a table you can sit i do suggest sitting somewhere that they didn't roll too far but however you want to work on it it's fantastic so let's get started like i said here's your string we're starting with that i've already cut a piece off um i do mine about somewhere between mm, 15 to 18 inches um this one looks like i did it right about 17 it actually looks like so um because it will be in half so it doesn't need to be huge um but what i'm going to do is i'm going to light the ends of this so it starts to melt and then i will be pressing them together and they will adhere them together they will melt together um, be careful not to burn yourself uh, if you give it just a minute it does um it's cool to the touch 
um, I do that. I generally will go back. Melt it a little more and press it a little more just to make sure it's nice and secure, like so. Okay? So see, it's not pulling apart. We are good to go. And you're not going to see this. Um, so a little extra melting does not hurt because it's going to be under the beads. So the little bit of extra melting doesn't hurt at all. Um, <clears throat> okay. Step one is done. I've cut my string and I have my string ready. It has been melted together to make a round loop. Um, when you do the next step, if you'll look at mine, my it doesn't matter which side it's on, but put your where you melted that somewhere in the middle. We don't want it at the very end because you will see it. We want it under the beads. Um, I'm taking my piece here, feed it through. And then you just loop that back. So if you see what I did, I put one end of the loop in and push the other end through it. So it feeds down. And it is now hooked onto my little claw alligator mouth, as people call them. It's hooked on my alligator mouth to um, that clips on the baby's clothes. So here's what we're starting with. Now, as far as the beads go, you can pick any colors you want. If you're trying to match outfits, if you're doing a little boy, little girl, these make fantastic baby shower gifts, by the way. Um, but if you're trying to do for a little boy, little girl, you can do things that go, are colors that kind of go, um, that are tend to be more gender specific. Um, but you can do any colors that you want. I have a new granddaughter on the way, and she did get blue because she will at times wear blue. So. It's totally 100% up to you what you want to do, and the pattern is up to you. You can do every other. You could do one that's all of one color. The, the options are endless on this when you're doing it. So I'm going to uh, <clears throat> take my little needle here, and I am hooking. See, I folded the end. If you can see it, it's probably really hard to see on here. Um, but I do have the end folded. Hook it on my string right there. And I will push the end of this through my bead. And the reason I use this needle, um, I guess people don't always, I feel like I would spend forever trying to thread both pieces of this through my uh, bead. And y'all, I'm not about making myself crazy doing this stuff. So first bead is on. Um, just come up with other, whatever pattern you want to do, completely your choice. Um, and most of the time, honestly, I just start feeding them. I do come up with some kind of a pattern. Um, I like things pretty linear, though, so that is probably a lot of where that comes from. These are not an expensive project to make. Um, they're pretty easy. They make great gifts, like I said. Um, you don't want the pacifiers all on the floor getting all nasty and gross. So, got it all, got my beads on there. Gonna make one knot at the very end. You want it to be against the beads. And by the way, make sure your beads are pushed um, all the way down nice and tight on there okay and it is knotted and it's done that's it that's all there is to it these things are like i said these are super easy to make they come out super cute people love them they match them to outfits the whole nine yards um and what happens is they'll take the pacifier and loop it through here um i don't have a pacifier with me here to show you how to hook it on but it's going to be at this end where the loop is that you leave left so see so you do need to leave some loop left okay um, but I'm going to use this, the end. So like if this was the, we're going to pretend this is the handle, uh, the little handle or, um, circle on the pacifier, but you're going to take that end, loop it through there, feed your beads, start with the, the alligator hook, 
Um, feed your bee comes out great. Um, I will have links below for the products that I use for them. Um, I do really like these. Uh, it's sturdy, stays nice. Um, it's a fantastic project to make. And there you go. So when it hooks on their, their clothes right here, um, it's easy to do. You undo it, hook it, and here hangs your pacifier um, so it doesn't hit the ground. It's fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, feel inspired to create your own pacifier clips. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. would love to have you back for more crafting ideas and inspiration. Until next time, happy crafting. See you in the next